Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Hitting the random button, telling me to play Eden. Awesome, I like it. Let's see what we get. Goathead, that's a nice start. Three health means I'll actually have some health for that devil room. Damage might be okay. Uh, tears, alright. Range is a little lacking. Or shot speed, or both. Regardless, this uh, this does not look bad. Not gonna care about my use item, of course, since bills are not worth using. But the rest of this is solid, and maybe we will get a new use item quickly enough that it won't matter. All right. Now I've got one of all the things. Pride, no big deal. I can deal with that. I'd take the Anarchist Cookbook if Pride felt like dropping it. That's fine. But no. Death. Uh, 60 damage to all the enemies in the room. Necronomicon effect, of course, one time. Sweet. Could get me a black market or something but it didn't. Butterbean. Even less useful item, honestly. But it pushes away enemies and also tears. Usable once per room. It, you know? It exists. Pick up the soul heart later, because this isn't an XL floor. I don't want to lose it before going to the next floor where I actually have to care about my red hearts. Because uh, I need to not take red heart damage on the next floor. I was hoping it'd be Larry Jr. As Larry Jr. dies in a single use of uh, death card. So that item gave me tears and shot speed up. Alright, I don't need to care. Never mind, I have the goat head. It's so weird starting with the goat head. Not used to that at all. However, taking the soul heart with me is still valuable. Alright, we out. Uh, the tears and shot speed is very helpful fixes two of the issues that I might have had. Sounds like sirens. Sorry. Can't really do anything about that. If you can hear them. Alright. Well, I got a bomb here. Nice. One damage up. If I get something that modifies my tears, it's 0.2 tiers up, and if I get something that modifies my speed, it's 0.2 speed down. Is good, though. Very good item. Nice to see it early. And it still makes a big difference in how the run goes. And it seems that my damage was good on spawn, since I'm one-shotting those dudes. Even with small rock, sometimes you two-shot them. So, that's good. Kill times are pretty low. So this is a good build. And I was gonna say, I hope I get a bomb on like this room or the next room or something. Also, I don't think I've ever seen this uh, large room. So cool to see a new room. Always like doing that. Didn't find the item room along my way, so we'll be back uh, through all that stuff to find it. Sadly, I don't one-shot the spiders, but you can't quite win everything. Alright, who's the boss? Not Haunt, nor Ragman. This is the best. Aw, oh, it almost got hit. Okay. It's going pretty well, actually. Dang, little horn. Not killing yourself for once. Supposed to do half my job for me. Didn't you know? Range up is good too. Uh, since the rest of this run's going so well, don't need to feel too bad about getting a range up for an item from a boss, because I actually need it. I'm gonna take both of these. Gimpy is a chance when I get hit that I drop a soul heart or black heart. Chance when I kill an enemy that they drop a half heart. Half red heart, of course. And succubus. Inside the black aura, you have a 1.5 damage multiplier. And enemies take damage over time if they're in it. 
which is seemingly tied to your damage in some way or another, because when I have things like Polyphemus, it seems like things die practically instantly, and it's absolutely ridiculous. But, you know, good item. Really good item. Now I just need to not die with this low health, which I should be able to pull off. So it's cool if you can move with uh, with the Succubus, but like, don't worry about it if not. Because it is also risky. It is likely to make your dodges just not in, in good spots. Alright, so another more useful item that is probably still not useful at all. This gives me a full red heart of recovery with the four room charge. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm not feeling bad. I'm feeling a little worried, but we should be pretty okay. Okay. So, of course we do have Goathead. I'm gonna get every Devil Room. I want health ups. At a relatively okay rate. As long as I can get rid of them. Never have more than five. And really never more than four, hopefully. Eh, sure. That was pretty worthwhile. Yeah, so like if I followed Succubus there, that would have been stupid. And I would have pretty much gotten myself killed. But sometimes it's not stupid, so do it then. Yeah, that's about what I thought would happen there. Oops. Again, shouldn't have followed it. Dude, look at it do work, though. Beautiful. Alright, there's the item room. Didn't know that was there until I looked at the map just now. Capricorn for all stats up. Uh, it's a minus one fire rate delay and a point five damage up. It also gives me one of the three main pickups. Uh, so it's it's just that uh, point five is more than most all stats up. And minus one fire rate delay is not how the ones that give tiers give tiers. So Capricorn is a really good all stats up. And it's the truest all stats up. Though I don't think it affects like shot speed or like luck or any of those. Like fake-ish stats that aren't fake but don't really seem to count. Rotten Baby spawns a kamikaze fly for me. And that does twice my damage whenever it is dead. A new one spawns. Good item. Alright, five more bombs that uh, now poison enemies. And honestly, I think that's a pretty good haul for that floor already. I'm um, Actually, I haven't found the item room, or the, not item room, the shop. I want to find the shop, and then it'll be a good haul. Then I'll feel good about life. Now I feel good about life. Sackhead breaks the game, that's what it does. Most, uh, not most, but a lot of pickups will turn into sacks, which can contain all sorts of stupid things. I'll use the blank rune at the start of the next floor in case it's a uh, vision. Ansa's rune. And uh, that'll be that. Or a Degas remove floor curse. Either way, it's more useful on the next floor. And if it's not one of those, it, you know, doesn't matter. It also has a chance to drop, uh, you know, another of itself. So that's going to be annoying placement if I accidentally go through it or something and waste all of my time on this floor. Not getting any uh, items or something. As you can see, I am quite uh, quite strong so far. Two guppy pieces, alright, if you say so. <clears throat> the... Uh, collar is a 50% chance to revive at half a heart if I die. And Dead Cat sets me to one red heart and gives me nine respawns at one red heart. So no matter what, I'm respawning a bunch of times. But I also don't plan on dying. And I'm two-thirds guppy, which is pretty cool. Never get gu guppy anymore. 
so it feels more special when I do. I have this fool card. Teleports me to the spawn room of the floor on use. Ow. That was dumb damage. Wow, nice. And that's why I really like Succubus. Just killed a bunch of annoying enemies that I was going to have an annoying time killing for me. I don't really care about Robo Baby. Doesn't really add any value to my build. Uh, but I do care about more options. Which makes it so that all item rooms will have uh, two items that I get to select between. Alright, I'll bomb again. You got me. I want to know what this is. Alright, and then I will buy this because I kind of don't have that much health. Alright, away we go. So let's see if it works on this item room. I don't think it will. Because it has to generate a different item room layout. But uh, the last two item rooms will both have two items that I get to select between. Which is probably valuable enough. Of, uh, like, an investment. Sucks that I very rarely get more options early enough in the game that it affects, like, most of the item rooms. But it is possible it's happened, and it's, uh... It's probably still worth it up to this point, like I said. Now, if you get it on Depths 1 before... Where after visiting the item room, it's not worth it, but Depths 1 before visiting the item room, it's the same as getting it like I just did, and is thus, by my estimation, worth it. One damage up and a 10% Devil Room chance increase, but of course I have guaranteed Devil Room, so that doesn't really matter. Here's another more valuable item. Uh, it gives me a Soul Heart on use, 1.7 damage up, bit of speed down, and allows me to crush rocks and do contact damage to enemies while it's active. Wow, I can't believe that those didn't uh, hit me. Oh, beggar. Alright, well, I guess I'll keep this instead. Because if I uh, keep that until the chest or dark room, that will allow me to uh, get a free item by bombing it. I'll do this. I've been feeling generous with my clearing of challenge rooms right now. Emperor, remove floor curse, give soul heart. Emperor's nice, but I'll not have that in my life for now. Since free items are nicer. Okay. Huh, none of them spawn chargers. Normally that champion spawns chargers when you kill segments. I will go in. Alright, this item is when I get hit, I spawn a black circle. Now this black circle does uh, damage to enemies based on my damage. And if it kills something, there's a low chance that it drops a black heart. I mean low, by the way. You know, let's do it now. Hey, I got one. It worked. So I'll probably use this when it's particularly inconvenient to fight a room normally because there are either a lot of enemies or something like that. Or like this when I don't want to shoot them from behind. It's good. No reason to pick that up yet. Well, that was close. After this room I will. Alright, back off guys. Cool. So I don't really have any money, so I'm not going to go to the shop. And since uh, sacks would drop from the machine a lot if I bombed it, I don't really want to spend a lot of time bombing it and not getting any money. See how ridiculous this is? Okay... 
What are you? Hanged man. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, Wheel of Fortune is the same as Judgment as far as the chest is concerned. They'll both give me an item if I blow them up. I'll bomb for this soul harp. I don't really need to, but I will. Okay. So far, so good. Screw these guys, but this time I will fight them normally. Oh, hello. Didn't know there was an invisible guy. Guess he was doing his job right in that case. Oh, yeah, hello. Proptosis is a scaling damage multiplier based on range. At the closest, at the closest it's 2.0. At the farthest, it's 1.3. So no matter what, it is a large damage up and is very good. It doesn't affect your fire rate, but it does mean that your tiers will have a lot less range overall. So it, you know, works. That uh, randomly raises or lowers each of my stats. It always screws me over, though, so I stopped taking it. Lump of Coal increases the size and damage of my tiers based on the distance they've traveled. Uh, of course, the Proptosis effect is stronger, so they'll still shrink overall, as you can tell, but they will be increasing in the scaling damage of the style that uh, the Lump of Coal gives. While decreasing in Multiplier, Multiplier doesn't even affect Lump of Coal damage anyway, so... No real effect there. Let's see what's in here since I've been feeling so good about opening everything. Oh yeah, it could get me Guppy. And it does. So Guppy's head spawns two to four Kamikaze flies usable every room. Guppy gives me flight. And every time I hit with a tear, I spawn a Kamikaze fly that does twice my damage. Apparently, that uh, circle is now far farther away from me than it uh, was before, and it's, you know, freaking huge. Don't know why, but that's okay. Perthro is a one-time D6, which uh, is more items than a Judgment card, by the way, so... Don't really need to keep that card. Two soul hearts, invincibility and contact damage, don't really need it. What I need is some speed up. Since I'm doing pretty darn well for literally every other thing. So. Alright, I'll do it. I'll crush all of the things. Just because of the black hearts, man. What are you? Of course I got a freaking fine. Moon, I don't want to go to the secret room and forget my Perthro rune. Also, I'm not hugely worried about pretty much anything that's happening in the secret room is probably right here anyway. So, there you go. I have enough bombs that that's not a big deal. And I will make my way to this item room, where I get tech point five, because who needs speed when you can have tech point five? That's a full damage laser that has a chance to fire as long as I'm holding shoot. Okay, but really I do need speed pretty badly. I just would like more to have this silly item do silly things for me. It's a shop teleport, so there's some value in that. I guess I'll save it then. Uh, I'll use it to steal from Boss Rush, pretty much. Man, floor that keeps on flooring. Double my money. I don't really need to do that, but I will. Alright, what do you got? Joker. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Alright, I don't really want the uh, little brimstone. But Abaddon, be kind of silly not to take. 
Lose all my red hearts gives me six black hearts. See anything in here I actually want? Minus touch, probably. Yeah, I'll take minus touch. I probably won't actually steal all clear. Uh, okay, Abaddon. 1.5 damage up, chance that my tears fear enemies. Uh, increases my speed a little bit. 0.2. Generally cool guy. Solid item. I guess I may as well use this just because it sets me up for some damage up. Then Midas Touch allows me to do contact damage to enemies equal to my coin count. And turns enemies to gold on contact. If they are killed while gold, they will drop money. So it just makes itself stronger as you keep using it, pretty much. Pretty swell guy as well. Ah, cool, I've never gotten a wave of both of them. And then of course I will teleport to the shop. I just want the extra item here. Because I can. I mean, you're pretty dead anyway. Wow, this is a sucky wave. Good thing I'm really, really ridiculously overpowered. And this thing spawns spiders when I get hit. Restock makes it so that uh, shops replenish items when I buy them. Two of clubs. Rules card. Thanks. Alright, so I don't really need anything else. Did I drop something? No. Because of course I do want to kind of keep some money so that I can uh, do lots of damage if I come into contact with an enemy. So we good. Everything is good. Of course I'll guess wrong every direction I go, but it'll be fine. Not really worried about tinted rocks, there's nothing they can really offer me of value. Sack. Okay, so that was the wrong way. Big surprise. This is my life. Welcome to it. Hope you enjoy your stay. This is also going to be wrong just because it's me picking it. See? I knew I'd be coming back, so I didn't even open the chest. There's no reason to. Could be my secret room. I thought so. Rune bag drops a rune for me every however often it wants to. Which is obviously pretty good. Alright, so this is like the hardest room that anyone could possibly have ever conceived. Fortunately, again, I'm really stupidly overpowered, so it doesn't matter. So what are you? Oh, surprising. So of course that can spawn black market trapdoors and whatnot, so always use it. Just not in an inconvenient location where you have to try and walk past it. A lot. Yeah, that's fine. Again. That's black market and crawl space. Black markets are really, like, at all worthwhile, really, in my opinion. But they can be, and so can crawl spaces. Seven coins. And nothing I need. So we continue. I will fight Hush, because why not? Nah, not feeling generous anymore about these things. Hmm. Maybe this time I guessed right. 
I'll bomb it because it's obvious, but again, there's no value in it. So technically, while these give me the same amount of items, uh, the first time, if I get more stuff in the chest, and, like I get another per throw, then that's more items. So this is higher potential. Well, not necessarily any different. Uh, initially, has a higher ceiling. Oh, also the Leviathan transformation, since I didn't talk about it. It's pretty simple, it's just uh, flight and two black hearts. It's for getting three of the icon devil rune items like Abaddon, Mark, Pack, Pentagram, those things. I think there are a couple more that count. Didn't even need to use that. By the way, those spikes wouldn't damage you if uh, you didn't have flight. Okay, don't need those. I'm good. I was kind of thinking that my tier hitboxes might be that large to hit from that angle without me angling them. But then I just waited because I had the flies anyway to get everything done. Good. Ah, oh, dang. Not that it's important. Have so much health. So much health generation. Yeah, yeah, sure. When I kill an enemy, there's a chance. It spawns a dead bird. Tracks enemies down. Does two damage per hit. Isn't super useful. Remember, I already went to the devil room. Got plenty of keys, so I'll open everything, because I can. Flight and an eternal heart, I'll skip that item. I get charged for my use item for the boss. Peeper bounces around, blocks tears, does eight damage per hit. It's okay. Two soul hearts. Uh, random rune effect chance to drop itself on use. Hmm. Interesting that tech point five is being all spectral and whatnot. I don't know why. Maybe it's just there though. Yeah, it's just there. So those are weird not like full collision or something. I don't want either of those. They're both bad. The ability to hold two trinkets. Uh, Joker card. Oh, and I got the mom transformation, which means that uh, I have a knife trailing behind me. Almost full black hearts. Every time I get hit, I get a tick of charge for my use item. And I'll just spend the rest of my money here. Uh, all bomb drops are one plus one freestyle. All right, it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Let's go. Get our fight on. Get my little damage up. It's fine. Kind of screwed himself there. Since the Black Circle will spawn uh, things. Sadly, they fixed the whole no scaling when you uh, turn like Hush and Ultra Greed to gold that they said was like, oh yeah, that's intended, and then they fixed it, so. All right. This should not be a too terrible fight. Apparently I've got slowing somewhere along the line. Oh yeah, I picked up little gish. Damage output's pretty quick, so this is solid. I know I have a couple soul hearts lying around on this floor, so I can go grab them pretty easily after this fight, so I'm not worrying about damage intake very much, because it's just like I've got so much health generation and health just available. It's 
just not a big deal. Oh man. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here and let all the flies do stuff when it gets up before damage can scale. So I got more damage out of that than I would have normally. Alright, let's hope this is safe. Sweet. It's kind of all you can do with that attack, so. Alright. Same spot will work again, of course. Nah, man. No chance. Grab the stuff. And leave. Good fight. May as well, since it's available. Alrighty. Just gotta find Isaac. Wow, that is a lot of money. That's cool though. Well, it's a pretty bad job of finding Isaac initially. As one might expect of me. Nope, what is this? Yera. Nope. I'm looking for full map. But you failed me. Oh well. Not like it'll be too tough to get there. hold that trinket so I may as well. Every so often I'll go camo. Enemies will lose track of me. It's all right. Two of diamonds. Ah, excellent. Wow. All right, so I take this and, oh, I don't have two slots. Why did I think I had two slots? I haven't had two slots the whole time, man. Not giving me the thing that does the stuff that I need. Oh, that was a cuter, smaller one. Oh, there's the boss. Look, everything's okay. Two soul hearts I don't need. Tough fight, man. You know how it goes. Okay. Double. Don't want the knife. Proptosis is interesting, but this is more fun. So Continuum makes it so that my tears screen wrap, they go across boundaries. And uh, Evil Eye is a chance to shoot an eye that shoots out my tears, my fire rate, all that stuff. Uh, I would like to get one, but that'll just keep traveling along. Or oh, maybe it dissipates and it does... It was those uh, few times that things have gone really fast. We're two damage up from every other tier. Eh, since my range is bad, I'll do it anyway. Charge up, I can't tell how charged I am, but... Shoot out a bunch of tiers that do full damage and whatnot. Or more, it might be a damage up. Either way, absolutely stupid how much it gets to do. Oh, I didn't pick up the trinket I meant to. That's what I meant to pick up. My second slot. Where are you? Three flies, three spiders. So BBF uh, bounces around the room. It blows up when it hits stuff. Goodness. Cancer the item is uh, three soul hearts up and an on-hit wafer activation. So I'll, uh, once I get hit once in a room, for the rest of the room, I only take half hearts of damage. I don't want that. Uh, dry Baby absorbs enemy tears, blocks tears perfectly. And when it does so, it has a chance to activate a um, freaking Necronomicon effect for 40 damage to every enemy in the room. 
triple shot just makes uh, Monster's Lung charge longer for no benefit, so it's just bad. No reason to take that. I'm wondering about this chest consistency, because I don't have anything increasing chest drops, by the way. This is just like crazy random luck. Shears cut my body from my head. The body runs around and attacks stuff, does bunches of damage. Its speed is my speed. And, uh, it's really good. Dang. You're dead, buddy. I didn't even have to do anything, really. I have a really good charge rate. Kind of surprising. Also, of course, just a single burst spawns so many flies, it's pretty silly. Oh, I would have checked if that was Perthrow. <laughs> oh well. That was a silly run. It's pretty fun. I love getting uh, Proptosis and just all that other stuff added to it. It was great. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.